how do you help a startup when you're not in a startup? I've been thinking about that for a very long time. I work for a very large uh, company, if you, know, if you don't know that already. And I, I've been there for uh, a number of years. And, uh, during that time, I, I've seen a lot of startups created. I've seen a lot of uh, my some of my, my friends decide to move away from corporate America or move away from, you know, the, the private sector, or I should say, they, they decided to go out on their own and, and start a business venture, which I think is fantastic, and I do everything I can to support them. I think a lot of people don't really know how to help a startup when they're not in a startup. It's, it's the, the chicken and egg scenario of, well, if I was in a startup, I would know everything I needed to know to help person X. So here are a few tips that you know you may be able to do that will uh, allow you to add value to a startup in your your community. So um, before I get into what you should do, let, let's talk about the why. Why should you do this? I live in Baltimore. Baltimore has a tech community, not as big as other tech communities, but a very strong tech community. And when I say big, I should say not as large because we don't have a lot of established startups as in other areas where you look at some, you know, other areas like a, like an Austin, like a, um, uh, New York or uh, even Silicon Valley. Those are considered the hubs of technology. And I, I feel that we're working on a hub here. And what I'm trying to do is, is anything in my power to help push that along. And uh, a few things that I've, I've learned is that in order to build a hub, you, you have to build a community. And that and overall, it's so many positive effects of, of building a community. You have this friend network that can help people get lined up with ideas they're very passionate about, help them to learn where they may have gaps, where they're like, I really got this great idea, but I don't know how to do what I need to talk to person X and it's very informal and it's very organic and so that's kind of the why so it's super important to help build community I mean I, I, if you don't get that um, you should really try to think about that one so a couple things that I've seen that I do and I've and I've been, been able to observe that are extremely helpful um, one thing you can do is just try to find out as much about the product as, as possible. Even if you have to do something like sign an NDA, um, which is a non-disclosure agreement, that will allow you to get better insight into their process, into what they're trying to accomplish. Because for me, I'm trying to help people because it, I, I feel that when I'm ready to do an idea, I want other people to do the, the exact same thing for me. And I... I, I think that, you know, before you look for people to give you to give you something, you should be giving first. So it's this whole pay it forward concept. So I, I've been to the point where, you know, I'm, I'm no stranger to an NDA. You know, you sign an NDA. It's not like you're trying to steal their idea. You're just trying to find out, hey, is there anything that I can do to help? So what are some of the things you can do to help after you find out what their processes are, what problems they're, they're facing? You can set up connections where you know that um, this person is looking for a supplier of some information. And you know that it's a company in your area that, you know, supplies that information. So one thing you can do is go and talk to the company you're trying to help and say like, hey, I know about this person. I can set you up. I can establish a connection. And they go, hey, fantastic. That's great. And you never realize the benefits that that can, that that can bring. A lot of times with startups, they need a lot of feedback and they need to be able to pivot very fast or be able to have these iterative processes that they are constantly working on features and getting customer input. And sometimes talking to partners in the area can help with that um, refinement of information and give them laser focus faster. So that's one tip that you can do.